Welcome back. I'm now joined by Chef Martin with Spoons Bistro and Bakery. We yes. come on once a month, and it's that time of the month again. It's hard to believe. It's already in the middle of July. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But we have um, something really exciting to talk about today. Yes. This is kind of a new menu item for you, right? Or something that you're kind of, you've been specials, or you've done with specials? Well, what we got is, uh, what I'm going to demonstrate today is Eggs Benedict, uh, mm -hmm. and kind of how we do it. We're going to have a little bit of a difference in, in ingredients, but uh, just to kind of show what it is to poach an egg, how easy it is to do that, and mm -hmm. how easy it is to assemble a Benedict, and how then how we do it at Spoons is is, is what we're going to end up with. But, um, there you go. But yeah, just to let people know that poaching eggs really is quite an easy process. What I've yeah. got here is a, is a pan of two inches of, of simmering water, and I'm just going to crack an egg, and it's going to go right over the top of that. Mm -hmm right inside that water. I'm going to do the same thing with just to, to have a set, which is how we do it uh, when we make an order. Mm -hmm. Okay, And then uh, I'm just going to let that simmer. It's going to simmer for uh, about three or four minutes uh, to about it to a nice over easy to over medium kind of consistency in the water. I think people get a little bit um, intimidated by the yeah. fact that it's poaching. That's what we were talking um, about, yeah. And it really is, to me, it's quite simple. Now, some people will go with um, spinning the water. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's totally necessary. <laughs> um, what I usually do to bring the bring the whites together is add a little bit of a little bit of uh, white vinegar, okay. and it's like a, t a teaspoon for a good two or three cups of water. And what that'll do is it'll bring the whites together, okay. uh, and so they so that they don't fall apart so easily. Now I can put my little dipper in here, and I can and I can kind of stir it up a little bit nice and easy uh, just so that it kind of kind of distributes the heat a little bit yeah but I mean that's the plan is to kind of kind of just let it do its thing and don't get nervous about it it usually takes about four or five minutes for it to be that consistency yeah. but, but that's it I mean it's you know it was just the eggs the water and a little bit of vinegar exactly and and that's don't it. forget the don't forget the vinegar like I kind of almost did um, <laughs> don't don't forget that because that really will help the Bringing it together, it'll look it'll look close. I've got some here that are prepared beforehand, and and they're all together. Nice, the whites are nice and thick uh, with the yolks and that sort of thing, cooked yeah. to about a medium. Like I said, about a medium to. Uh, so then, medium while those are cooking, we'll start assembling the actual Benedict. Right. Then. Right. So what I wanted to, uh, to talk about was our new uh, Benedict that okay. we're going to be featuring on a new menu that's coming out for. Our breakfast. We just changed up a couple of things. Nothing too crazy. But the one I wanted to feature is our our um, crabby dreamer. The, the uh, crabby dreamer. Because we have a dreamer already, which is which has bacon, tomato, to, uh, and uh, asparagus on it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I thought, well, let's put something with crab meat yeah. on it. And, and that's a good summer dish too. Oh, exactly. Oh yeah, it's exactly. perfect for the summer. With all of these ingredients, I mean, these yeah. are all summery anyway. And exactly. nice and refreshing. It's not over, overly um, like rich. Heavy, yeah. I mean, the holidays will make it a little bit rich, but once you get your all this uh, together, it's a nice light dish. Exactly. So, and so we're just kind of. I see you're just kind of like um, stacking things up, and the eggs yeah. will go over right on top. Yeah. Normally, with my dreamer, my normal dreamer, it's already on the menu. It's the bacon, the tomato, the asparagus, and mm -hmm. the English muffin. Uh, but I thought, well, let's let's add a little variable to it. Yeah. And because you could do this with your Benedicts, you really can. Mm -hmm. We have the, we have the classic Benedict with the with the ham and the the hollandaise and the egg and that sort of thing. But this kind of added a nice added little feature. Yeah, just something figure, a little bit different and yeah. like you said, it is very fresh and, and refreshing. It's not too heavy. Right, right. Okay, so then we bring and the so, eggs out. And so now those are not quite there, but I do have some prepared, ready to go, okay. and I'm just going to kind of slip those over the top. It's All that right. easy. Wow. And this is definitely, I mean, this is a good amount of food for breakfast, too. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It usually comes with hash browns, but I just want to oh. go and do these individual for you. Perfect. Um, so, there's and that. And we're almost done, right? We just kind of have... We are so close. I've got the <laughs> holidays coming up here. Obviously, the holidays. I think that would be, as far as difficulty goes, this is the sauce that really, if you can master this, mm -hmm. you could have anybody over at your house and totally, totally just, just wow them with yeah, it. Yeah, totally wow them with wow. this. Wow. So this, I mean, this looks delicious. Well, thank you so much for showing us You're how welcome. to make this. You're welcome. And um, if you want more information on where you can go check this out, you can go to spoonbistrobakery.com. We have mm -hmm. that for you right below, and we'll have more information for you on our website. We'll be right back after this break. Don't go anywhere.